hi managers welcome back so another video this video we're going to be talking about credit score why you need credit score how to get credit score which credit is good which credit is bad where to even get the credit score and which score really really matters so let's get right into the video if you're really managers looking for fine things in life you better really take care of your credit score and what is a credit score let's start with a basic question credit score is basically like a proof or a history that you are able to do as an agreement between you and a company or companies just basically that because in a credit score how we build credit score as you will see in the video it will bring you back to understanding more of what is the agreement or what is credit score but basically it is an agreement between you and the company or companies it shows a company or companies that you can follow as an agreed on contract and they can trust you with their profitable services or products which is quite very important as someone who wants to participate in their country's economy and why it is important we all have history right and not everybody knows our history so if you get one person to tell your history to someone else that new person in your life is able to know you that's how credit score works credit score is just basically your history presented to the next person or the next company if i'm your old friend and i meet your new friend i get to tell them how loving and kind you are throughout my life that is more like a history and that is more like a credit score a credit score it is important because it tells a lot of companies how you are as a person when it comes to money finance contracts um following as a great and unfortunately in today's day we cannot leave without any some sort of a history any some sort of a background so if company a writes something about you like you do not pay them you're struggling and you do not go according to the agreed contract that history company a has it will reflect when company b is looking into getting in a business with you so it's basically like a, a reference basically credit score is like a reference it shows how far you can go or how do you as a person function when you are under a contract or an agreement let's get into this video in this video i'm going to be showing you screenshots this is the intro i'm going to be showing you screenshots companies the best app to ever download for your credit score like it can take your credit score to zero to being excellent credit score so managers let's get into this screenshot i'm gonna voice over this video and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and yeah let's get into it to build a very reliable credit score you need to find a registered business that is well known and functioning in order for you to get offers uh you get credit by meeting the requirements of the business to get the credit every business or store has its own criteria when it comes to opening an account or taking a loan to enable you to build your credit score because this video is for people who receive little or none of income but still want to build a credit score we are going to focus on certain stores and app that you need to make it your body how to maintain and how each credit score number means so as you can see i'm searching on the uh, accounts that i qualify for this differs person to person this is my credit um score account clear score account which i will get into how we register so this is a trust account as you can see already trust accounts wants you to yearly pay them 45 rand yearly and they don't have initial fees 45 rand is for you to pay every year whether you taken something that costs 100 rand or 20 rand you need to pay that fee is mostly like for admin for them handling your account so this is what the trade account offers as you can see um 
Thread doesn't go with a lot of stores compared to other uh, offers that we will be seeing. So it's important that before you really apply for any account, you really look at the account fee besides the money you'll be owing, which is the um, initial fee, the monthly fee, how much flexible you can pay them. Some accounts you can really like pay them without them coming to your bank and deducting how flexible you can really pay them when you put the money that you owe them for the service or the product and the account fee whether it's monthly or yearly put those prices together and make that your amount that you are really looking into paying for it and see if you really really can afford it even though you meet the requirement it is important that you make your own your own analysis in order to see if really this is a good choice for you we are here at spotson as you see the spotson has a monthly a fee this monthly fee as i said with the yearly one from truett you will have to pay this money monthly whether you take something that is less than 20 rand or 50 rand you really really need to pay this amount as also on game game has two prices damn it has an initial price it has a monthly fee the initial fee is for you to just put you on into taking the account you just pay it once when you're studying the account and then the monthly fee you pay it every month but the initial fee you just pay it once when you're opening the account it's more like um what can i say like an entry fee you see when you're doing entry fee and then it doesn't go as month you use the account so when you are actually having like the account you can graduate like to personal loans because you cannot have a personal loans without even one account at least so we're gonna look at offers of personal loans as i said these offers will differ person to person so we're gonna be looking at um offers less than five thousand and we're gonna be comparing and seeing which one is most suitable this side as i'm saying Saying, you need to come this side when you already have the account you can have the account for more than six or 12 months and then you can really take up on personal loans as you can see on personal loans loan to loan is gonna differ as you can see the interest is gonna differ there we go a monthly savings fee this fee you will need to pay every month let's say they say um you have to repay them 600 per month it means 69 rand plus 600 that is the amount you're going to be always paying every month until your credit ends personal loans are very nice i mean a good way to just up your credit but you really don't want to take a personal loan if you are really desperate for money because it can really get tricky it can really get tricky and you don't want to find yourself in tricky situations when you're trying to really build your credit score more than having the money in your account as you will see uh as we go on on the video you will see i took an fnb um temper loan that i took this month and they deducted it the next month i use that for just credit not something to really really i needed that money asap so you really need to be careful when you're taking personal loan personal loans they can be really a burden and they could really destroy your credit score let's get to the app that i suggest that you download before or after you go and inquire about your credit or any account that you want to take on offer so if you once think that you have signed an, an account and you're not able to pay them i think that you should really download this app before you're gonna go and ask for another account because it is important this app shows you every account under your name and you can really go back and pay and start afresh and try to build your credit score if you know you haven't you can go and open an account and come back to this app and it's gonna show you everything when i say everything even your due dates like even your due dates let's get to this app i really really love clear score so you want to register obviously on clear score give them your details and everything this is my account let me share my most tricky tricky situation i use to keep my credit score up 
What I did, I went to the most affordable store ever. Like I could literally afford to pay the store, like, like without a blink. You know, I went to the store. I really did qualify for the requirements. I took um items that are not even like. 10% of my income I took them and I was like I'm gonna pay this account uh, this item little by little even though I can afford to pay it right away so let's say I take an item of 120 so they're gonna divide this 120 to only find out each and every month I can really pay like your 15 rand or 20 rand for building a credit score don't don't tell me that is too much like that is absolutely nothing it is free money to just get your credit score that's what i did i didn't go on accounts where i can pay admin fees or annual fees or monthly fees in this account nothing that you have to pay monthly even if uh, you take something, they don't make you pay for their admin, for them opening an account for you. They don't. You just pay for what you take. Um, they're really nicely divided for you. If you miss a payment, they will have to add interest. Their interest, one cent, half a cent, one rand. It's really affordable for a starter. I will say that if you're really trying to build a credit score, don't come here and be like, oh, but I want to buy things that are going to last me. Obviously, paying 20 rand, you're not going to get items that are going to forever last you. You're not buying running shoes in the store. You're buying shoes you can wear for two hours, three hours. That's that. Don't be so desperate for credit, for extra money through loans and credit that's not the way to go if you're a startup and you're trying to really fix your or start your credit score so these are the demonstrations that you see on your account on clear score clear score does the every every work for you like every work for you like it brings you everything that you could really need as a startup i don't know about the 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 the, the advice guys i'm not advised as youth i so i'm a startup and i really appreciate this app it shows you your if your account has errands if there's any inquiries if there's any company that ran um or that did some credit check on you i saw one company i want like um wanted to take a contract on phone contract so that i could improve my credit score but they rejected me that time they said the phone that i wanted was not available i still see that they're still running like um the credit check on me even after I, i'm not really even interested a few years down the line so i really have to sort that out i don't like them checking my credit score because if a company is busy checking your credit score and you're also busy checking your own credit score almost monthly or every two months that really destroys your credit score it brings it down so you really have to stay away from your clear score account don't always be on your clear score account checking your credit score. It is bad and thus tempting, very tempting. As you saw, it is so easy to ask someone to, to call you and take up a loan. It is easy like that. An SMS away, you take the, the, the personal loan and you're in debt and you're not even like ready to pay that debt. So it needs someone with very high self-control. Um to use this app to check or to monitor not to just make it their playground and be like i'm gonna get this offer i'm gonna get this offer so let's look at the works so that every time you see a clear score um advertisement you can really know that when they say that woman especially the the, the other woman <laughs> they say um after downloading clear score after one year i qualified for a home loan that is hundred percent possible and i know we don't believe in advertisement sometimes but clear score for that woman they didn't lie they didn't lie i saw it with my own eyes with my own life with my own credit score it really really does as you can see as you can see i was on zero credit score and then i opened a range account right and then credit score just just did it things like everything just like 
but can you see many ages can you really see? I don't even even want to explain it. Just look at the graph. And there are two uh, lines there. There's a line for my credit score. And there's a line from range. So every time I take certain amount from range, my credit score gets up. My, my, my money I was owing was low there. And then I went and took up something for 198. And then there's my credit score. There is it. There is it. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You get me? So if you wanted to increase the amount that the companies can give you, you want to also increase on um uh on credit. So right now I cre my credit is seven hundred and fifty. I cannot um it, it shows that i cannot pay more than 750 in a month so it goes person to person right now for 750 i'm quite very 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 content as a startup i'm just i'm just very like very happy i don't have any trouble right now i am looking into taking you know very good credit and see how my credit score um uh reacts and all that stuff but it's not for this year maybe probably next year so maybe another updated uh credit score video will come next year or in two year uh we will see we will see as the years goes as topics goes i will really suggest that even if you're not looking to um fix your credit score really really now or watching this video please just download the app register and leave it like that i feel like this app is gonna make us pay like it's so good to be true <laughs> by the way we don't we are literally not paying anything for this app you don't pay you just put on your details and i feel like because people they're not fully aware of this app this app is just making itself available i feel like it's gonna do some restrictions yeah it's gonna do some restrictions and i mean like get it early as you can you know learn about credit score as early as you can even if after five or ten years it's gonna cost us to use this app at least <laughs> In that year or two just learn something you know you know how to navigate around your credit score and this is a very good like company that is uh one of the top that does our credit score if you can search about them very good there's nothing sketchy there's nothing scammy just make sure you get the right um their website and you download it on your iphone your android it, it's 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 very flexible really and you, as you can see i don't have the app i have it on my website so i go through it in my website so you can also go to the website just register and leave it like that and they will keep on sending you sms's and everything i need to remove that address them and sms's so you don't have to click on every sms they they, they they text you but if there's something that looks like oh my word when did i take this credit you know and it's showing on your clear score go and inquire and get your life of credit score sorted we are so young to be taking credit like we are blind or we don't know about money we are really so young like like trust me you are really really so young and we need to take credit that matters let's take credit that matters if you can pay cash pay cash if you want to fix your credit take the credit we, we it's gone are those days when you have to take um credit because oh i really need to pay for this country credit or else i'm gonna not have a car don't do that i will i like me future going forward i will be taking quite a lot of credit because i want to be i want to be seen that i'm a very active um person in my economy but it's not gonna be like i'm taking credit because i cannot pay it back or i don't even have cash to pay it back like that's how i view credit and well it says there was no actually changes in my report is where i didn't take anything from the store i didn't pay anything i was just now and i started in october 2022 to take something that i had to pay so this is the indicators of good bad and excellent poor very poor um credit score as you can see managers you can judge for yourself if uh where you stand and how you can work into getting up and having that excellent credit 
score having credit excellent credit score doesn't mean you have to owe 10 million or 30 million or whatever you have as little as um you can afford you can be able to have a proper credit score as you can see in my account like it's not much it's not much but my credit is um uh, my credit score is good so i love that as a young girl you uh, get things without even straining yourself or getting yourself into debt so that's that for this video um don't forget managers to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this i have more other finance uh videos in my channel go and click and watch other videos about money there is a previous video i did of um building a relationship with your money go and watch that video it is very very helpful as you can see in the clear score app there's activities these activities you can take them lightly but they will really teach you about money like they will really really teach you about money more than you can ever like imagined unfortunately you can't download them on your phone you have to do them online and complete them but they are very useful so yeah, I'm gonna just see you in my next video. Bye!